Welcome back, RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I got another property for you. This one is in San Bernardino County, California, going back to my roots. I used to have so many different properties in San Bernardino County. And um, I, I used to make all kinds of videos and uh, so I sold lots of those things over time. But I've been out of them. I haven't had them in stock for a long time, right? Because it's it's been competitive market to get the San Bernardino County properties like this. And a lot of other people copied them and got the properties, so whatever. But here's one. I got this one. And um, it's just your classic San Bernardino County. This is the backside of L.A. If you don't know where this is, this is like the deserts uh, between Los Angeles, San Diego, and uh, Las Vegas. This is out in between. And so you got big metropolitan areas on either side. And uh, you've got a whole bunch of wilderness like this in between. It's just not filled in. It's not built out. And because a lot of it's because it looks like this, right? But people from those metropolitans love to come to this for the weekend and take their RV there and take their motorbikes and their four-wheelers and, and uh, just go have fun, drive around and just be crazy, right? Because they're outside of the city. And they can. <laughs> and so that's what this land is good for. It's for going to have fun. So let's take a look at this property. Let's jump into the website. You know, RuleVacantLand.com. This one is Rolling Land. It's got his phone number up here. Uh, you can go to the website by going to the description of this video. It'll take you down. You know, if you go down to the description of this video, it'll take you back to the website and you can see this property. It looks like you got actual pictures of the property here. Um, there's, you can see this is the one I just had. Some mountains in the background views blue sky it's almost always blue sky i'm surprised he found any clouds out here at all uh so there's a view there's a power line coming across parts of this area here um, there's a homestead there's some towns more homesteads off to the distance looks like some nice uh washes here to drive your dirt bike up and down you go flying through there So here's a bunch of pictures. You can look at these pictures and check them out on, on the website. That's nice. You don't see fluffy clouds like that in Southern California so much. It almost looks like it's going to rain. Uh, so they got a they got a picture, um, or sorry, a video that shows like you can fly around and see it. So here's the property. It looks like they've got a one of the two tracks running right through the property. So it looks like you can drive right up to it and um, set up your camper, your RV spend the weekend, have some fun. I'd say shoot off fireworks. People probably get mad at me for saying that. <laughs> That's what I would do out there. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is, uh, let's see what part of San Bernardino County we're in. Okay, so here's 29 Palms. Okay, so it's Northern part. So here's 29 Palms. And here's the, uh, so this is Joshua Tree. Yeah, so here's Joshua Tree National Park. So we're just outside of Joshua Tree. This is the northern entrance, entrance exit. It's the main route in and out of Joshua Tree. The southern one is, is down here off the 10. So if you're going all the way through Joshua Tree and you're coming out, you're right by this property. So if you're going to go drive into Joshua Tree and go take a look at it and stuff, you could use this one. If you want to camp outside of Joshua Tree, you know, it's like, you can't get reservations in Joshua Tree right now. I don't know if you guys have tried. My friends have been trying to get reservations. They're saying, hey, if we get it, you want us to book it for you? And they're not getting it. They're just not getting it. There's You're not. So like, if you wanted a camping spot in Joshua Tree, uh, you want your own camping spot without all the rules and regulations of the campgrounds, you could buy this property right here and you could use it and then you could go put it back up for sale or you know use it for a couple of years or whatever. Go put it back up for sale. You probably get your money and then some back. It's cheaper than paying for a campground. And you get out of the regulations. So this is, if you guys have never been to Joshua Tree, it's just one of those places to go visit. It should be on your bucket list. It's part of America. It's a park for a reason because it's beautiful. They just really um, have these amazing uh, rock formations. And just a, it's a natural piece of America that just shouldn't be missed. It's something you should see. Even if you just drive through there, it's totally different atmosphere than any any other park I've been to. So here's, this is a square and a sea of squares and um, just drive up to it on that little road that's there. So let's jump out of that. And um, so what's he asking? I missed the price on this thing. It's 5,999 bucks for one and a quarter acre. 
we got uh, you know the APN number, the information. He's asking for two hundred forty nine dollars to to do the paperwork and make it happen. Yeah, so this is call these guys. This is their property. Call call the phone number here eight one eight two seven five four one five five. You can go to the website, click on it, give them a call, ask them about the Joshua Tree property. And uh, say you don't want to camp in the in the public lands. You want to camp on your own land, right? Give me the land, <laughs> and go make it happen. Or do it with a bunch of friends and take turns camping there. Whatever you want to do. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com. See you in the next one.